In the high-stakes theater of American aerospace, the transition from one era to the next is rarely marked by a single event. However, the official designation of the F-47 as the crown jewel of the next generation air dominance program represents a seismic shift that has sent shockwaves from the Pentagon to the boardrooms of the military-industrial complex. For over two decades, Lockheed Martin held an iron grip on the concept of stealth, parenting the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II. But as we move further into 2026, the narrative has flipped. Boeing, the titan that many industry insiders whispered had lost its fighter spirit after the X-32 failure, has secured the contract of the century, effectively dethroning the incumbent king of stealth and ushering in the true successor to the Raptor. The decision to award the contract to Boeing was not merely a matter of choosing a manufacturer, it was a strategic pivot by the United States Air Force toward a future defined by digital engineering and rapid adaptability. This victory is the culmination of a decade of quiet, intensive investment by Boeing into the digital twin philosophy building a virtual replica of every component before a single piece of titanium is cut. By the time the Department of Defense finalized the National Defense Authorization Act for the fiscal year 2026, it was clear that Boeing's approach offered the most robust path toward maintaining air superiority in an increasingly contested Pacific theater. This is not just a plane, it is a software-defined weapon system that happens to fly. To understand the F-47, one must first understand why the legendary F-22 Raptor is being ushered toward an early retirement. The Raptor remains the most lethal air superiority fighter ever built, but it is a product of 90s logic, designed for a world where stealth was a rare luxury and the primary threat was a symmetrical dogfight over Central Europe. Today, the challenge is fundamentally different. The vast distances of the Indo-Pacific require a level of endurance and range that the F-22 simply cannot match. The F-47 solves this with a combat radius exceeding 1,000 nautical miles. For the first time, American pilots will have a platform capable of penetrating deep into anti-access, area denial bubbles, engaging targets, and returning home without the constant vulnerability of mid-air refueling. Under the hood, the F-47 is a masterpiece of propulsion technology. The 2026 budget has allocated billions of dollars toward the next generation adaptive propulsion program. Unlike traditional engines that operate in a single mode, the power plants being developed for the F-47 by General Electric and Pratt and & Whitney can transition between high thrust and high efficiency modes. This allows the aircraft to maintain supercruise at speeds exceeding Mach 2 over 2,400 kilometers per hour without the thermal signature or massive fuel consumption of an afterburner. It is this combination of extreme speed and extreme range that makes the F-47 a generational leap rather than a mere upgrade. Visually, the F-47 is expected to deviate sharply from the silhouettes we have grown accustomed to over the last 30 years. Gone are the vertical stabilizers, the twin tails that define the F-22 and F-15. In their place is a tailless cranked kite or flying wing design that minimizes radar cross-section from all angles, not just the front. This all-aspect stealth is critical because modern adversaries have spent the last 20 years developing low-frequency radars specifically designed to track the tail fins of current-generation American fighters. By removing the vertical surfaces, Boeing has effectively rendered the radar networks of our competitors obsolete 
before the first F-47 squadron even reaches full operational capability. However, the most revolutionary aspect of the F-47 is not the airframe itself, but the digital backbone it commands. The Air Force has integrated the F-47 into a system of systems known as collaborative combat aircraft. In any given mission, a single F-47 pilot will act as a tactical quarterback, commanding a swarm of two to five autonomous loyal wingman drones. These drones will carry extra missiles, act as decoy sensors, or even sacrifice themselves to protect the manned mothership. This force multiplier effect means that the projected fleet of 185 F-47 aircraft will have the tactical presence and lethality of a force five times that size. The cockpit itself has replaced traditional dials with augmented reality interfaces, feeding the pilot only the most critical data processed by onboard artificial intelligence. The financial commitment required for this level of global dominance is staggering. Each F-47 airframe is estimated to cost approximately 300 million U.S. dollars. While that figure may cause sticker shock for the average taxpayer, the Pentagon views it as a strategic bargain compared to the catastrophic cost of losing a high-end conflict. The fiscal year 2026 budget includes 3 billion 500 million U.S. dollars in research, development, and initial low-rate production funding, with an additional 900 million U.S. dollars in supplemental funds to accelerate the timeline. This level of investment ensures that the United States remains at least two decades ahead of any near-peer competitor who is still struggling to perfect fifth-generation technology. Beyond the hardware, the F-47 represents a revolution in sustainment and logistics. One of the greatest criticisms of the F-22 and F-35 programs was the astronomical cost of maintenance and the low mission capability rates. Boeing's digital first approach means that the F-47 is designed for modularity. Sensors, processors, and even structural components can be swapped out in the field without requiring a return to a depot. This open mission system architecture allows the Air Force to update the aircraft's software in weeks rather than years, ensuring that the F-47 can adapt to new electronic warfare threats as soon as they are identified on the battlefield. The geopolitical implications of the F-47 deployment cannot be overstated. By positioning these aircraft at key hubs in Guam, Okinawa, and eventually Darwin, the United States is drawing a definitive line in the sand. The F-47 is designed specifically to counter the growing capabilities of the J-20 and the Su-57 but its true purpose is to provide the National Command Authority with options that were previously unthinkable. It is a weapon of deterrence, a platform so advanced that it convinces an adversary that the cost of aggression is too high to bear. In the corridors of the Pentagon, the F-47 is often referred to as the Pacific Guardian, a name that reflects its primary theater of operations. Looking ahead, the roadmap for the F-47 is aggressive but calculated. Following the initial production phase in 2026, the Air Force expects to achieve initial operational capability by 2030. This timeline is significantly faster than the acquisition cycles of the past, thanks to the aforementioned Speed Act, which has stripped away layers of bureaucratic red tape that previously stifled innovation. The goal is clear, have a combat-ready wing of F-47s in the air before the end of the decade, ensuring that the Raptor's shadow is replaced by a new, even more terrifying silhouette for our adversaries. For the American public and our allies abroad, 
the rise of the F-47 is a sign of renewed vigor in the domestic aerospace sector. For Boeing, it is a chance at redemption, a return to the forefront of military aviation after years of commercial and defense setbacks. The victory in the next generation air dominance competition is a testament to the fact that when pushed by existential threats, the American engineering spirit can still out-innovate and outbuild any rival. The F-47 is not just a replacement for the F-22, it is the physical embodiment of a new doctrine of air power, one that prioritizes reach, intelligence, and overwhelming technological superiority. As the first production models begin to take shape in Boeing's highly classified facilities, the message to the world is undeniable. The era of the fifth generation fighter is beginning to wane, and the dawn of the sixth generation is being written in American ink. The F-22 was the undisputed king of the skies for 20 years, but its successor has arrived, and it is faster, stealthier, and more intelligent than anything we have ever seen. The F-47 is not just a glimpse into the future, it is the weapon that will define the geopolitical landscape for the next 50 years. It is the silent, lethal assurance that the United States will continue to own the high ground in any conflict, anywhere, at any time.